think the building came out great for everybody from the architect to the builder to the team we had representing us. Uh, they all did a great job in bringing it to completion. Well, the center's going to add a lot to the guide dogs. Um, for one thing, it gives us a lot more space to work with the dogs. It opens up an opportunity to bring events into guide dogs facility. There's room in there now for the trainers to train if the weather is not good. There's room in there to expand the offices and give us more room in the admin building. All of this is for the future. I think this is something the school can be very proud of. It'll bring a great deal of enjoyment to a lot of people. Years ago in 1995, my late husband saw a documentary on television about Guide Dogs of America. He called the next day and we sponsored a puppy, which then graduated. And since then, we've been involved here. We've been sponsoring puppies. When he passed away, um, he left a huge legacy here. And what happened was we built this building. When this campus was built, in 1982, it was with the IAM's financial backing that made it possible for the school to cover its expenses and grow the number of graduates. Today, our commitment is as great as ever. This place would not be here if not for the IAM. Nearly half of our annual budget comes from the IAM and its members. This is my first time coming up to Guide Dogs to the center and I am very impressed over the facility and everything that we have going on in here. We in the Machinist Union are very proud of this school and we in the Western Territory take a special pride in the fact that this school is here in our territory in California. I'm very, very appreciative to the Singer family uh, for their contribution to Guide Dogs of America as well as all of the other philanthropists across the country that continue to donate. But I must say I'm also extremely appreciative of our membership and our leadership for their continued daily, weekly, monthly efforts to raise money for Guide Dogs of America. The flagpole, which we just raised the flag on, that was done in honor of the men and women of the International Association of Machinists and Aerospace Workers and made possible by the entire Executive Council of the IAM, so thank you very much. That's what we're about, helping people, improving lives. So this is just another chapter in the great work that the machinists do.